I will give you a question that says factor x squared minus 13x plus 36. So I'm going to teach you a method of factoring a trinomial, so three terms, in the form x squared plus or minus something, right? B can be negative. X plus or minus, C can be positive or negative, where A is equal to 1, which means there's always going to be a 1 here. So we don't, we don't even have to write that. Okay? What does it mean to factor? What does this mean? What am I looking for? When you factor something, you're looking for two things that multiply together to give you back the answer. Remember factored form? Factored form, we can foil it and brings us back to standard form. So I'm looking for two things that are going to multiply together to give me x squared minus 13x plus 36. So first of all, if the first term is x squared, automatically we know, automatically we know that what do the first two terms in the brackets have to be? What times what gives you x squared? Okay, so that's the first thing. x times x is x squared. So you know that it has to be x times x. Okay, so just as a reminder, this is B and this is C, right? I'm looking for two things that multiply together to give me C, okay? But when I multiply them together, sorry, two things that multiply together to give me C, but the two terms have to add up to give me B. Yes. List. We're going to list factors of C. Two things that multiply together to give me C. So what times what is 36? Just give me some numbers. Okay, 6 times 6 is 36. What else? Negative 6 times negative 6 is also 36, right? Okay, what else? 1 and 36, good. Negative 1 and negative 36. What else? 9 and 4 is 36, and negative 9 and times negative 4 is 36. Are there any more factors of 36? Hmm? Oh, yeah, 12 and 3. Okay, I'm not going to write that one because I ran out of space. <laughs> so the first step is to figure out, and you can start to do this in your head. You don't have to make this little chart. Two things that multiply together to give me positive 36, but when I add them together, I'm looking for the one that adds up to negative 13, that adds up to B. So let's see, what's six plus six? Positive 12. What's negative six plus negative six? One plus 36. Negative one plus negative 36. Nine plus four. And negative nine plus negative four. Which one, which terms multiply together to give me positive 36 but add up to negative 13? Negative 9 and negative 4. So my factors are negative 9 and negative 4. And that's the answer. This is factored form. We're going to check it. We're going to work backwards and check. We're saying that negative 9, sorry, x minus 9 times x minus 4 should give us x squared, what was it, minus... 13x plus 36. That's what we're that's what we're saying. That these are the factors of this. Factoring is the opposite of expanding. So let's expand it and see if it's true. Foil. X times x. X times negative four. Negative nine times x. Negative nine times negative four. See what we're doing here? We're looking for two things that multiply together to give us C and add up to give us B. What's negative 4? If we simplify this, negative 4 take away 9x is negative 13x, and 36 is 36. Two things that multiply together to give us C and add up to B. That's why I drew that little chart. If I ask you to factor this, you're looking for, you can draw this little chart, two things that multiply together to give me what? Positive 16. Positive 16 and that add up to what? Negative 10. Negative 10. Multiply to give me C and add up to give me B. Okay, so start by listing the factors of 16. What times what is 16? Some factors of 16 are positive 8 and positive 2, but when I add those up, what do I get? 
Positive 10. So what do you think the factors are going to be? Negative 8 and negative 2. Still give me a positive. And when I add them up, it equals negative 10. So this is my answer. These are my factors. So how would I write this in factored form? X minus 8 and X minus 2. Okay, so this question says 3X to the power of 3 minus 21X squared minus 24X. Is it in the form X squared minus BX plus C right now? No. No, because what's A? Okay, so whenever we have something like this, first things first, always, for every single type of factoring, always check to see if there is a greatest common factor. You, you're trying to simplify it. So what is the greatest common factor? That's the first step. Three what? X. Good. They all, have three, they all have X in common as well. So the greatest common factor is 3X, which means I can divide everything by 3X. So if I can divide it by 3X, I can multiply it by 3X. So tell me what you get in factored form. Good. X squared, second term, Eric? Negative 7X and third term, yep, minus 8. Okay, so we factored this using greatest common factor, but what do you notice about the second factor? What form is it in? It's in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So we actually have to factor this again. So my answer is going to be 3x bracket whatever this is factored. So factor that part now. What are the first terms going to be? Yes. Good. So I know the first part. And now I'm looking for two things that multiply together to give me what? Negative 8 and add up to negative 7. What times what gives me 8? 1 times negative 8 gives me 8. And do you agree that negative 1 times positive 8 also gives me negative 8. Yeah. Both of these work. Does it matter where you put them? Yes, because we have to see which one adds up to negative 7. Is 1 plus negative 8 negative 7? Yeah. Okay. Is negative 1 plus 8, what does that equal? Positive 7. So yes, it matters. This is the correct solution because it has to add up to negative 7. So I would write my factored form as x plus 1 and x minus 8. That's the answer. That's it. I can't put x minus 1. Do you understand why? Because otherwise it would add up to positive 7, and that's not what my b value is. My b value is negative 7.